Do you want to know how much a data analysis is paid in Nigeria? This video will show you the exact salary expectation you should be aiming for so that you can confidently negotiate your worth. You might be surprised by what data analysts are being paid in Nigeria. This video will give you a detailed analysis of what data analysts are being paid in Nigeria, helping you to understand your worth and secure the compensation you deserve. But first, let's talk about the current data analyst job market in Nigeria. In Nigeria, the demand for data analysts is currently on rise as businesses undergo digital transformation. The need for data-driven decision-making has increased in a greater height. Now, let's go into the salary expectations of data analysts in Nigeria. Let's start with the entry-level roles. So the entry-level roles in Nigeria are usually paid as an entry-level data analyst role in Nigeria. They are usually paid 150k to 250k per month. I know you are surprised, right? It's not much, Abby. <laughs> I'll give you guys career tips at the end of this video and also how to negotiate your salary during your interview and the things that the skills that you need that will increase your salary or decrease your salary. Now, let's move into the second one. So, the mid level data analyst rule is usually they are usually paid 250k to 400k per month. Then the senior data analyst rule that's the our organs okay they're usually paid 400k to 750k per month so these figures varies based on different things like location industry or your specific skills for instance data analysts in lagos command more salary due to the city's economic landscape so that means if you are in lagos these salaries might be higher than those that are outside Lagos. Now we are going to talk about key skills and experience to negotiate a higher salary. So during the interview, these are the skills that you need to actually negotiate for a higher salary. A one person can be paid 150k as, a, as an entry level data analyst. Another person can be paid 400k as an entry level data analyst. It was all depends on you it all depends on the skills the negotiating skills so we're going to talk about the negotiating skills you need to actually increase your salary number one is technical skills if you want to increase your salary that means you need to prove to them that you have all the skills they need and even you know more than they expect so you have to like you have to like impress them okay you, ha you should have you should know skills that not everybody knows right like most people just know excel and power bi as data analysts you should know skills like python or any other programming language do you understand or even tableau okay or power bi so you should know skills that many people don't know when they see that you know something that many people do not know and you are able to sell yourself that way it will help to increase your salary. It will help you to negotiate for a better salary. And it's just important as you having a, a good skill is also important for you to understand that you can negotiate for a better salary based on your confidence. So confidence is important. You can have a, a high skill, you can have you can be you can be very good, but when you're not confident enough to negotiate for a better salary, you'll be giving whatever they want to give you. Now, let's talk about certifications. So, certifications are important. They might not be needed for entry-level rules, but now you're talking about how to negotiate for a better salary. Let's say two persons now, they are entry-level data analysts, and they went for an interview. One person that has a recognized certification that is also good with their skill, then the other person that's also good but doesn't have a certificate what do you think who do you think will be employed some weeks ago my sister that is also a data analyst went for she lives in dubai she went for a data analyst interview she was good they were impressed but they said that they needed someone who has a certified who is certified as a data analyst by the recognized certifications okay 
that is what she was told and she had they had to take someone else that was certified as a data analyst meaning that they have recognized certifications that certifies a data analyst i made a video on those kind of certifications maybe i'll put the link up there so you can go watch it later after watching this video to know the kind of certifications you need right so certifications are important someone that studied data analytics in a u.s um, um university and you that just you know learned from a boot camp or youtube you might be very good both of you might be very very good like you guys are very good in your skill but well, trust me, they will rather take person, someone that has a certificate than you. The only advantage you have is when you are with someone that has a certificate but is not good. And then you are good but don't have a certificate, then they will choose you. But then there's a point that certifications are very important. Now, experience. Experience is another thing that will help you negotiate for a better salary. Yes. So someone that has more experience will highly be able to negotiate for a better salary than someone who doesn't. So guys showcasing your experience that means showcasing your real life project that you embarked on earlier such as successful projects or measurable impacts and significantly strengthen your position during salary negotiation so these are the things that can actually increase or help you negotiate for a better salary now we are going to talk about negotiation tips for data analysts Negotiating your salary is very essential, very, very essential. You shouldn't just take whatever you've been given. You should know your worth and be able to negotiate for that. These are the things you need to do. First, research. You need to know the average salary for your low role and experience level. Just that's why it's good for you to watch this kind of video. When you know the average salary for your role and the experience level, it will help you negotiate for a better salary. Now, after, now you are watching this video. When you go for an interview, they tell you they are going to pay you 70k as a entry level data analyst i'm sure you will not agree because you know that you deserve more than that then quantifiable achievements when doing your, your interview make sure you tell them achievements that you've accomplished and your contribution and impact that you've made as a data analyst this thing is very very important and you don't even have to it's not even necessary for you to actually have 10 years of experience five years of experience as long as you are doing something you have solved a solution a problem with data even if it's just one problem you have solved with data even if you just collected data set from a shop a grocery shop and just analyzed it for them for free just to practice that is something that's an accomplishment stay on that accomplishment elaborate on anything that you've done an accomplishment or impact you've made it makes a whole lot of difference remember it's all about articulating your value and aligning it with the company's goals now i'm going to talk about additional tips for career advancement i'm sure you want to hear about this and it's going to be very very quick i will not waste your time on this so if you want to know some tips to improve your career as a data analyst then continue listening and before you go ahead please like and subscribe to this channel and leave a comment in the comment section if this video is helping you so the truth is continuous learning is just the best is the key to involving to being relevant to you getting more and better salary imagine that you, all you know is the entry level knowledge it will always be paid an entry level group, um salary but when you keep increasing the data um senior data analyst it's just because they know better and they have more experience so when you keep increasing your knowledge you keep you keep um you know making use of your knowledge putting it into a project and all that your knowledge is being increased and your value is being increased and you will always be relevant another thing is networking networking is important let's talk with people that are already very good they talk with people that industry professionals they are everywhere you can see them on linkedin you can see them on instagram you can see them on twitter network with them i know you might think they will not respond to you but if if there is a will there is always a way then stay updated stay updated with whatever is going on ai is the new thing right now so as a data analyst you should be thinking of how to use ai to analyze data and how to use ai to better your skills so what you should be thinking of that is how going to learn ai always be updated and in this channel i always try my best to update every data analyst i recently made a video about ai how to master ai as a data analyst i'll put a video up there so you can go check it out how to learn how to make it up ai and prompts 
to actually make your job easier and better and it's not it doesn't just end by following industry professionals also follow blogs so follow industry blogs and news to keep yourself updated don't screw away any news on data analytics okay stay and read you might actually learn something new so guys i hope this video really helped you i want to know what you think in the comment section are you working as a data analyst what are you being paid do you know about the salary expectations for each level each role in data analytics before you actually apply for that job well if you don't know now you know in case you're applying for a new job you are better you're in a better place or you are now in advantage let me know what you guys think in this video leave a comment give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching Bye bye